hi collective welcome to the channel cosmic divine dreamer hi everyone so this is gonna be a twin flame download wow i just spilled so much florida water all right you know what i really need to be cleansed so it's all good <laughs> all right so um then now if you've been following my channel i've been talking about this corrupted a twin flame journey right so this is going to be off of that right no, it's not going to be everybody's twin flame story but i feel it's important to know about it because you know to spread the awareness because there's so much on twin flames about them being rainbows and the love of your life and all of that right I'm not even going to say it's not actually because you know what I have gone literally like um, back and forth with mine. <laughs> See, I'm even still confused even upon giving this, right? Because my situation is different. So you know what? Whatever. This false twin story, that's what this is. I, because recently uh, there's just been undenying. that I've been seeing a mirror, literally seeing a mirror. And I'm like, no, what, what is this source? Like, <laughs> so, you know, but it's interesting because my story, I talk about how it was like pieces, like a twin flame had to come in to uh, like, this was okay. Okay. I gotta calm down. I'm getting super excited. So a couple months back, I, I, I knew I was picking up this corrupted twin flame story, right? But I got this download about how, and if I find it, I'm going to tag it so you guys can see it. But it, it was about how there was, there was a twin that had sacrificed their twin in a previous life, right, and killed them. I don't know if it was by accident because I've gotten multiple things where it was intentional they sacrificed them. And then another time it was like by accident, right, like, um, like a car accident type of thing due to somebody... You know, so it's like they never got over themselves. They never got over the pain of that. So they didn't ascend. Because, you know, divines are, we, we ascend from heaven down here, right? We're not here in earth school, in the normal karma wheel. We're here clearing out other people's karma and all that. That's why we get these beautiful love stories. Because we're here clearing out karma and pain for everybody else. That's why it pisses me off when people are like, oh, they're not worthy of that. Oh, because they're just because they're chosen, they get all that. Bitch, I'm not even here working my karma. I'm healing karma for you. And the fact that you're even around me, I'm clearing your karma. And you have the nerve to be envious and jealous and say, I'm not deserving of something because I'm here clearing out the fucking stuff that you couldn't clear. Sorry, my masculine side, the dark energy coming out there. <laughs> but it's like, oh. All right, so... Anyways, like, I'm a bit heated because, see, like, if this is, if this is true, like, I've been hanging on for such a long time to defend and to try to save and breathe the life into my twin to get my twin to awaken because it's like he's been stuck on an elevator shaft. It's just stuck. It's just not moving, right? Like, like a trance, like, come up. What is going on with you? The only, and it's just like, I can get in his face and do things like nobody's ever been able to do before because of that unconditional love. Because see, earth angels are also warriors. We've got a balance of the light and the dark. It takes getting to that balance to get your wings back, right? If you were a fallen angel. See this, my twin, or so I thought, still could be a piece of that. I think I missed because I was saying, no, I said in my story, right, that, a twin had refused to ascend back because they had sacrificed their twin. So the other twin ascended and came back as a rescue mission to save her twin, but she split again into two parts and came down here. So it's really like this has been multiple twins in pieces. And there's been an earth angel here that's been collecting pieces of her soul. Okay, so there was that download that I got. But then I've been getting this, this fallen angel. Because either way, we're all interconnected. So I get why I've been getting all of this, right? But this was a rescue mission for a fallen angel. I know I'm on multiple missions. This is one of my sleeper missions. That's why us earth angels. And recently I've been learning about hey, okay. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Specially trained 
right? To be able to embody the darkest energies, to use them against the enemy, to be able to know what they're up to, up against. And I know that's the ultimate, being the ultimate alchemist to embody these entities and to be able to flip them, but to be able to embody these entities, to be able to use them against narcissists, but to be able to use them, to be able to alchemize them, to love, to release them, right? So there's that. But what I'm saying is that, so, there, there was a rescue mission for a fallen angel that was just stuck in the dark side, right? So, as I was out today, because I was told to get out of my Herman energy, to get out of my motel room, while I'm still here, because come to the end of the week, I don't know where I'm going to be, what I'm going to do. <laughs> but you know what? I'm just so much more empowered that, that. I stood up to these demons. I don't even care. I'll figure it out. Anyway, look at this. So, got all these notes that I wrote from, from the downloads that were just coming to me. Because I have auto writing. Just things. It's like a lightning bolt and all these things come in. So, I'm going to have to piece these together the best that I can. Because they're not in order. <laughs> I kept getting distracted. When I auto write, it's like. And it's kind of meant to be that way. Because I don't like people to find my notes and be able to read them. As people have tried. So, no. Only I'm gonna be able to piece it back together. I love I love puzzles. <laughs> too. Okay, so anyway, I got a lot of massive downloads of realizations of, you know, they've been showing me what this is, you know, and confirmation that I'm a spiritual teacher, a very powerful light worker. You know, and you keep in mind too that you get beautiful blessings whenever you work with an earth angel and you do things for them, right? You get you also inherit and are protected by their protection because when you because you're you're like under the umbrella no, nothing bad is going to happen to god's earth angels and there so you so you get a form of protection when you are with an earth angel but if an earth angel decides to pull her energy back that you're done you're pushed out from under the umbrella karma's going to come in it's going to come in fast and karma very much i don't like to get into how it's delivered but to be against uh, one of god's earth angels that came down that descended from heaven to came down this divine mission i'm pretty sure that that that's divine god and you know you're not just in you're in a whole nother category when you target one of god's chosen so right this was a mission for an earth angel to rescue a fallen angel right because the only person to be able to do that would be an earth angel to be able to put up with this because this lost corrupted twin i'm going to call him a divine masculine because he is a divine masculine he's just a corrupted he's a dark divine masculine emperor in reverse energy right he's stuck in his shadow side doesn't want to sit with the pain doesn't want to so he's just been living like on autopilot so that's why i've noticed him. he's very robotic right autopilot life after lifetime after a lifetime of being stuck and trapped in the darkness right and but it's like he knows that he's got a lot of spirituality like um and gifts and um you know um so he's very like religious but he's been indoctrinated all right okay i'm not gonna get too focused on, on that but it's like but he knows he's got spiritual rank over most people you know that's like telling like uh somebody like uh, a higher fin a, a, a powerful spiritual leader that telling them they need to go to church like no 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 we on a different different um level it's just like it's just like that thing like um there are rankings anyways sorry i don't want to get too focused on that so what i'm getting at is that so he knows he's got spiritual rank and he knows he's got gifts he's very psychic and you know knows how to use manifestation but see he's been siphoning my energy and he's been using my energy to alchemize to have more energy and control and because he's been in this narcissistic energy it's like a parasite that that this entity that that this host that's on him it's getting him to work out narcissistic narcissistic ways dominating and controlling and i don't even know if he's fully aware of what he's been doing right so but he's been working against me he's been trying to get me to just to to, to destroy my light to get me to stop from serving my mission but see this was this was for me this was also like a secret mission because i was send me in i'm gonna go prove myself and you know what the higher rankings that i'm gonna get 
for not turning dark, for not losing sight of my mission, for staying focused. Because there's been times I've wanted to give up. I'm like, nope, I have not let him turn me dark, right? He was the only person to be able to get close enough to me. And it was like an explosion in my heart chakra of allowing love because I was also in my divine masculine energy for such a long time because I was so broken. I needed this ultimate narcissist that he was to really show me what love was to then break me open, to then rem to get me to get into my power, to stand up for myself, right? So we really have been working together. This was a divine plan. It really was. Two very high-ranking spiritual, I don't know what you want to call this, but very, very high-ranking light workers. But he's been a fallen angel, and I've been battling him, trying to get him to the light side, right? So um, this has been, a, okay, let me get into some of my notes. So this angel went into mission for training to prove her worthiness to be a leader of the 144,000 and past. Oh yeah, that was also it. A lot of the leaders have been wrapping up these initiations. The leaders of the 144 are the ones that are rising into their positions of power right now. They're the ones that are going through major life changes, major ascensions, because everybody is getting into their positions, right? This is happening, so that came out. That, that was like one of my final ones, right? All right, so every single thing that this earth angel has had to endure, right? Because she's had to lower her vibrational frequency down. As this earth angels, we often don't go around and say we're earth angels. I don't put tell people that. I mean, I do on my channel because it's different. And then I, I, I let 144 as I say that, 1144, because my platform is for the chosen, the earth angels. And that's why if you run across it, you are a very special soul. I put the intent out there that not everybody's going to find it. It's never been about clout and all of that. But at first I was confused about it because I, I was like, I always, you know, ask the divine to shield me not let me take in too much stuff but at the same time like when I was first starting up my platform like it was for my training initiation but at the same time it was like I was like I need to be able to monetize and make money so I can get out of this relationship with my last ex because I was wanting to get financial stable for my kids and not have to rely but the universe just started blessing me in ways and um so and I've always known that it's not about making money and that's why like I'm very hesitant about wanting to do personal readings because it's like I want to help all of you, but like I give such collective messages that they're going to, you know, we're on the same frequency. We're acting, activated the DNA codings that are within us. Um, we've got many others. So it's just, I've always known that I'm supposed to be on a higher a higher level and to reach more people and like I heard a perfect reading the other day where somebody said that not all leaders are these very powerful leaders of like a thousands or millions or whatever of people sometimes you're a leader of just a group of of souls right but, but those souls are going to change so many lives and then they're you know what I mean and it's a chain reaction and that's what I'm starting to realize that you could literally just be a leader of like 10 20 50 100 you know know what I mean and that and that's what I mean so um where is it going with that <laughs> I lost it so anyways like um um something about money right uh, hold on something about the channel or whatever um I don't know I lost a little, uh, let me keep going though but anyway oh that she had to put her worthiness down or whatever right um, they don't often, that's where I was going with this. You don't often explain that you're an earth angel people. So they're, they're the best disguises because earth angels are like candy to narcissists because they're so loving and light and that beautiful energy. That's what catches their attention. Like glitter or very shiny, right? And they're like, oh, that's an easy target. That's a person to manipulate and control. It's very easy. They didn't know that we were warriors underneath. They didn't know that we were going to be so loving, caring, and kind and get so close to them and then we could destroy them if need be because we were close to their heart, right? Because that's how you get close to somebody is through that love, right? It's not like we want to do that. We're trying to battle the demons out of them, right? So, everything that this earth angel had to endure, every single tear that she is, is, has cried Every single stress and pain that she has felt will be paid back in full. That came out. Something about potion bottles of tears came out to me. Um, 
I had tests for Earth Angel to pass the test. Um, if this Earth Angel was worth and keeping their heart pure to not turn dark. So they were all tests, but that's what I mean. It's been like a show. Everybody's been watching. 1505 doesn't say that. And the, and the astral realms, right? I always knew there was a grudge or something that he had. See, there was always something. Like, I always knew there was something. I used to think that it was because years ago when he first met me, it was like, as soon as he met me, he knew there was something about me, felt my energy, as, as many do. I'm used to that. I'm very magnetic. I've known that as being. I thought it was a star seed trait, but real um, recently I've been realized. Uh, um, I don't know how much I want to disclose <laughs> about the Blu-ray light, about the Blu-ray um, star seed light workers. I do know that I am a hybrid of that. So it was like I always wanted to blend in as being a crystalline because the main differences between the two is that the blue rays, they know they're, they're very, very powerful and they come here knowing their gifts and the crystals, they don't really know and they go and absorbing people's energy and healing, not even realizing it. But it's like I've half known and half not. And it makes perfect sense that I'm a hybrid because I know that my father... <laughs> that I got this from my father and I know that I'm here carrying out his mission, right? And what was so interesting too is always like he went to me for advice. He went to me. I always felt like I was my dad's parent, right? So I knew that like I came to help him with his mission, right? So anyways, it, so it makes sense to me. There, there's not many talk about the about the Blu-ray hybrid crystals, but that's very much what I am. So it makes sense of why I'm a leader because the Blu-rays are the leaders, right? Because they're the ones that can endure the most pain, the most, there are warriors, there are frontline light workers. And I'm one of the younger ones, right? So anyway, um, but anyway, it was like, so I always knew, because like I could see demons in people, right? So, and for a while, like I used to think, oh, it's because you're infusing with liquors, right? You're infusing with spirits, right? So I got to keep you away from that. But anyways, I always felt like there was a grudge or something, because it's like, I knew, he knew in the moment he saw me, right? There was something significant, always just after me, but I, I seen through everything. So I was like, no not going to pursue this, but he kept coming around, coming around, coming around. And finally I was like, all right, he's a contract. He's contracted to something. Maybe it's supposed to be, maybe he really is my twin. Cause I was shocked to be like, he, he's got to be my twin, but narcissists will flow to you. Right. Everything like he's highly obsessive of me. It has been ever since, right? As most people are to the blu rays so That makes sense. But he, um, he knew everything about me. He knew how to feed me, how to tell me everything about spirituality and about my twins. And he uses his psychic gifts all the time, taps on my energy and always says, see twins, twins, look at this, look at that. Let's get matching things. Let's do this. And it was like turning into like a doppelganger thing and the competition. But I, you know, me being a little naive, I was like, no, he, this can't just like be the enemy trying to steal my gifts and all of that for me. It's got to be just because he's my twin. He's my mirror. No, Oh, he doesn't understand see that's where it's like psh, I've been corrected to literally really see what a mirror is to me when I finally realized that yeah you may be in your dark energy and trapped in your dark side but you are not divine like me you're not you're not my Maybe a piece of me, but not a piece of me that's this blue-ray crystal hybrid that I need to build this empire and this kingdom with. So, yeah, there's a lot of confusion. I probably lost everybody because <laughs> I don't even know how all this is coming up, but I needed to record this for me. So, if anything, if it's just for me, it's for me, whatever. So, um... Okay, back to the grudge thing. So it's like, you really have to trust what you feel. Because I was like, well, maybe it's because I turned him down. And it took seven years so we got back together to where I actually felt I was stable enough to take care of myself. Where I wouldn't be relying on him. And I felt confident enough. And I was like, all right, I'll let love in. Because I really did fall in love with him. I'll admit, I fell. First person I probably really fell in love with. Because it was the first one to really, like, 
show me love and you know what he did he fell in love with me too and that's what's so hard is it's like because the love is there but then it's like in out in out like i'll feel it that he's out that he's it and it's just like i'm like i used to think it's these inner problems like the narcissism like comes and goes so that's what's been making me hang in there too and we could have had a beautiful life together if you would have let the narcissism go but um he's not strong enough to do the work at this time so that's why i i felt as though i had to let him go to save him too because there there's just there's so much demonic attacks that come my way and he can't handle them he's not at the at the level to be able to fight them with me so i kind of feel i was saving him in a way but at the same time like it's hard and that's where the angels gave me this is that because i know as soon as i pull back my energy karma comes down you know, and it's like he's, even though he gets stuck in his narcissism traits, it's like, to me, he's like a hybrid narcissist, dark angel, because he still does have that angelo, angeletic side to him that can come out, right? And it's like, I, I meant to say this earlier, that like when people ask to pray for me, like I say it's sweet, but you don't have to. Because it's like nobody is going to be able to pray on the level as me. Like I, <laughs> like there's different levels of higher ranking with your prayers being heard. Like um, when I want something, I go right to the creator. Divine source, the creator, we are one, we're connected. We're, we're all really extensions, but it's like... There's a lot, it's more, in, in, oh my gosh, let's kick the table. It's a lot more intricate than that. There's more levels to it of power and position and incarnations. And it has to do with ranking, really, because us being, me, like me saying, me being a Blu-ray hybrid, we're the first light workers. We're the originals. We're from the beginning. The bloodline that I come from, the royal bloodline that I have from my father being O negative, like it's. It's really a thing. There really is certain bloodlines that haven't been tainted. And it's like their bloodlines are encoded with certain DNA. And it's like when I access these things, I have all this DNA. And it's like my my family comes out through me, right? And it's like... Um, oh, wow, it's getting a lot deeper than I expect. Like, you may not understand all this. But anyway, like... um, So, my prayers... What I, I am like, I can give and receive karma. Like, um, if I say a blessing for somebody, like they're going to be blessed. If I, if I want to lighten someone's karma and have say in their karma, I can. I, I'm trying to explain why not everybody has the ability to do that, but I do. Um, but the thing is, is this is where they were having me write this stuff down. Let me find those pages. Because part of needing to learn the lesson it's not having my protection, getting it pulled away. Because it's like you, you're you here. Everybody has either a blessing or a lesson, you know. And karma is that lesson. And you have to learn from it. So you have to use your discretion and your sovereignty and all of that. And make sure that they're going to learn the lesson. See, so it would be fair. See, a divine masculine trapped in dark energy coming against a chosen one has karma. When energy is pulled away, prayers can lessen karma for them. Karma is to learn from, so be fair if you want to help them. If they stay angry and bitter and in bitterness, they will be stuck and they're going to be trapped and they're going to keep going because they're unaware of the blessings. Like, he was unaware of the blessings that he was even receiving when he was with me. It's like, it just my love and light irritated him he never thought to realize that why i was all love and light why everything seemed to level me up why i got so much protection and so much guidance why am i i tried to tell him i tried to tell him i'm always taken care of i'm always protected we don't have to live in fear we don't have to worry we don't have to you know so don't stress don't don't bring these things to us you're stopping me from alchemizing you're stopping me just just be happy let's just be happy let me work let me do my you know our spiritual work we're supposed to build something together because he's got a love for children right and you know and, and that's something that i that i really need because that you know that's part of my mission work with the star children 
So, um, but anyway, so see, it's like if I clear him of his karma, he's not going to learn the lesson. So I do have to let some karma come down, but you do have some say in it. Um, so I'm, I'm keeping that in mind, but I have to know that he will not be stuck in his ego. It says um, he needs to shatter, they need to shatter their ego. And see, that's why sometimes divines have to have divinely guided separations too, to really pull back the energy to, for them to not fill you too because they're absorbing your energy just by being around and it would make sense like as soon as too like it's almost like the enemy knew because it's like it's like the first day literally that i had met up with him that we had like our first date after seven years like immediately he was taking his hands and he was putting my hands all over him like not in a sexual way just like can you feel that can you feel like it was almost like and i remember thinking then like does he know i'm a shaman because i don't tell anybody that my hands are healing i just i don't and you have to be very careful and i don't often you know like I, I thought it was like an autistic trait where i don't always like to be touched and things like that but it's like it's an energy exchange right that's why there is, um, in, in cultures, they do that to protect the energy, right? It's really a thing. So anyway, but it was like, I was like, no, he, he just can't know that, that he's absorbing my energy. But yeah, always holding my hands, always having his hands on me. And I, But I was like, maybe just does he know that? Because I had always desired to be able to walk around, hold hands, get all that cute lovey-dovey stuff. Because um, I'm working. Because I had never out, I had never had that before. So, you know, it was those little things. I was like, maybe he's just doing doing what I desire, right? So, um, anyways, um, there 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 was just something you 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 really got to trust your intuition right so the leaders are stepping into their positions of power this was an assignment and a divine contract so you need to know for a lot of you some of these divine contracts are being called times up that's why i've been seeing justice with judgment because for some of you these divine contracts are outdated you've done everything in them um, you were waiting for, for this time, this movement, and with this very powerful new moon that we have, that is very much what's coming. So, lesson or blessing, let me make sure I'm getting all my notes here. So, oh, so I wanted to um, explain a little bit more about this fallen angel. So, this fallen angel was, was to be stopped. This earth angel was never going to be destroyed. This fallen angel was so dark it could not see the love that was given to them. They would lead you, they would take all of your, your love away just like everyone else. They wanted to take all of your love away just like everyone else. Heavy control, like a heavy talker, an over talker. They would always want up you, always talk over you, always try and find things to belittle, belittle you, put you down, bring up things that would lower your vibration, um, things from the past, just anything and everything. Very manipulative, abusive emotionally and physically. Um, angels have been protecting you though and blocking them there's been many times where I, I know literally there's been times where things have just happened people have popped up he's been led away things like that um, so but don't always rely on that if you feel you're in an unsafe situation get out of it whatever but so okay these are some of my first so divine masculine losing everything after targeting an earth angel. Karma is coming down for the hate they felt, the dark thoughts, and the stealing the energy and the spell work. See, spell work, it doesn't always have to be lighting candles and incantation, crystals, spices, herbs, whatever. Literally, you do spell work with your words, with your mouth. When you say things that you want to have happen, that's why when you put together the letters and you say things, it's spelling. You're saying spells. So they were doing a lot of gossiping and a lot of talking, even just belittling you to themselves, to their friends. Um, but there was a lot of things that were going on within the mind. They were wishing things in your downfall. They were, the jealous and envious was jealous and envy was taking over that it was causing them to just have this anger towards you. You were irritating them. For sometimes it was the sound of your voice, your happiness, and the just they didn't they weren't supposed to be feeling that way all right so they were doing heavy spell work this setup was divinely sent 
If they would have passed the test, they would have been oh so blessed. A life of luxury, riches, fine, and, and oh my gosh, just everything. So much love and passion and just... But anyway, um, so because they were so narcissistic, the enemy was allowed to come in. And it was ultimately more of a test too for this earth angel to have finances depleted, to lose everything, to just go through major things to try to get them to shake off. But, um, you know, because that's a true way to show people's colors, right? You take away all the finances if there was somebody for those things and then the, those are gone and they're gone. It's a big sign that they were using you for resources and finances and stuff like that, right? So let go of all the security. But, um, but anyway, so now all this stuff is going to be boomeranging on them. I mean, well, it was happening together to you guys to get you guys um, to end these contracts. But what I'm getting at is they were going to stay in that energy or have these things happen. Trouble with jobs, losing friends, family, homes, evictions happening, losing cars. Like all that stuff going to be happening to them. But you're going to be protected. And now they're going to, part of their karma is going to get to see the rise in your riches and all of your, all of those things that your ancestors, like you got like a stack, like a vault, okay? Because <laughs> every single time that they were doing these things to you, things were being taken, right? And it could be taken too from like their inheritance, their, their sides, like things got to be paid, right? And I heard too that some of the, ancestors that were for like on this dark angel side actually came to your side and have been helping and protecting you from them some of them are like have been embarrassed and have been working with some of your ancestors and because because okay i don't want to get into all that energy but it, it's just it, they they see that you will be vindicated right they've even been saying things to your to their family about you putting the blame on you to try to make them look better all of that to their friends all of that you will be vindicated right so know that okay you never cross a chosen one they were so envious jealous of your heart your love your light your forgiveness they don't know, understand how or how you're blessed why you have been trying to destroy you they did not have the intent of truly loving you just loved what they got from you so because the intent wasn't pure divine knew divine knew that they were gaslighting you that they were after you for your things that you know you were that, that they're an opportunist that they yeah they they did fall in love with you because they fell in love with the love that you showed them they fell in love with the idea of being in love, but they fell in love with what they could get. So for some of you, that's why they were turning darker and darker, the less that you were able to give to them financially, right? You could have noticed that it was a very sexual relationship too. Um, a lot of passion, a lot of, a lot of those things. They were definitely using sex magic and keeping you love that way. That's the only way that they were really showing you love. Okay. All right, now let me get to these. So the, these were my first two that I wrote, so now I'm to the beginning. <laughs> okay, so Corrupted Twin Flame Mission slash False Flame Fallen Angel. That's how I labeled this download. Um, so Divine Contract. This was a Divine Contract, a rescue mission, a test by an angel's purest heart of unconditional love. Only an angel could fall in love with the narcissist. True angels are warriors but will never know due to how kind and loving that they are, their angelic energy that they carry. And this angel was a Hayoka. And, um, and it, Hayokas can embody the dark energy to alchemize, to release it. When this angel walks away and calls it, no more divine protection, all karma comes down. Last chance was with this angel. All of the love was not enough. This narc, tried to sacrifice his angel and this this happened months ago right he tried to sacrifice his angel that was sent to rescue him and this was a highly ranking earth angel this was not just a normal earth angel wow 34 minutes that was the download that i got of my corrupted twin flame mission it's not everybody's but i felt to put my story out there and if you said i was putting it in my version and putting it and maybe it could relate to you because i don't know how many of these that there are 
because I, you know, and in my beginning times, I talked about when I was doing my crop twin flame mission is it was like I was getting these downloads as it was like it was, um, it was just too heavy. There's just so much pain that especially for this fallen angel that's that's been on autopilot, just not ascending back up. And it seems such dark things. And he's a Scorpio too. So that's what really pulls him in too, into the underworld. But he has so many, he's had so many like friends that have, that, that he's lost. And, you know, and that, and that's, I don't even know if all of these were like rescue missions for him. And then he lost them because a lot, I would have gotten a reading earlier today that a lot of the Hayokas have not made it due to overdoses and, and not making it because these are the most challenging these are the most challenging life paths you know the sacrifices that are made I mean the things that I've had to break me down I mean there's a reason why I say to myself because I don't know who I can trust everybody's after me for my energy you know, and it, it's very challenging to navigate this world trying to only work with your spiritual team. I mean, I know I got a whole bunch, right? But, like, even my own children have been used against me, you know, and just, just all these things. It just I'm constantly alchemizing. I never get a break, you know. And at the same time, you know, it, it, to see my children getting used against me and it's like, where is everybody to help me? That That's why I'm this building this foundation and that's why it's time for my counterpart to come in so we can build this <laughs> and I'm sorry that I was hung up so long in this mission but you know what all in divine timing right so I'm just very grateful and thankful that divine has came in and and um that this shift is coming <laughs> that we're going to get to build this empire to, for the star children. Because more of them, they're too empathic. They're, they're too much. They're, <laughs> my twin knows this empire that we're building together, right? And, um, yeah, I, I'm super, super excited for it. So um, that's also why I want to do this transmission. It's for my twin. So love and light to you. Bye. Oh. Like the video, because let this awareness get out there. Apparently that's how things spread, right? The likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions. Guys, that, that does donations for me. The likes, the comments. I feel your energy. It lights me up, so please do that. All right, love and to all of you. Bye.